Alright, so this is great. Uh, the murky water guard that spawns here and is static is not here this time. Or he has the uh, capacity to spawn there, I mean. So this gives me easy access to getting inside and outside, which is great. Because moving bags, uh, going all the way around is a bit annoying. Okay, so there's some evidence there. Oh, there he is. Shit. And there it is, right there. There's the alarm. It's okay, Bane. Don't worry your pretty little head. I got this. BAM! So there's nothing up here. I found one key card. Uh, actually, I probably should have noted. I can't tell. Look at these paintings. These paintings are glorious. They're actually pretty... Well, they're beautiful, I think. <laughs> they're great. I would love to have paintings like those. Anyway. Don't mind me. Where is this panic room? Oh. Good thing they don't see past those banisters. Actually, I'm going to start opening these windows. I like opening a lot of the windows because it gives me uh, more access to the outside. Like, easier access, so if I get smushed in between, I could hop in a window and try getting out that way. Oh, I didn't make it in time. Well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I should probably actually go to the body bag ass and grab myself two more body bags. Okay. Oh, here's more evidence. Nice. I'm gonna put him here. Open that door. I don't believe they come this way, even if you open this door, so that's pretty nice. This is a relatively safe area to gather loot and whatnot. Plus, it gives you easy access to the garage, and the garage kind of leads you right to the outside as well. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to be listening to these tapes. You can do it in your own time. But uh, I really like the addition of these tapes, you know? They give you a little backstory uh, of the traitor and why he did it, stuff like that. And the boards on the walls for evidence, those are nice as well. You know, they, they've they got little stuff to them. Hello, don't mind me. Oh, I'm getting stuck. <laughs> that could have been bad if you turned this way. Yeah, these... See, this one says Operation Watchdogs, Timeline of Events, and it gives you, like, pictures and little things that the FBI were doing. During the operation, uh, Sigint picked up several mentions of Bane, or Bane. And, you know, is this their leader, a.k.a. Dallas? So I won't really be looking at those too much, but there is one in particular that I would like to show if I happen to find it. So that's three evidence uh, bags. I need at least six to get out. Okay, let's let's start going. Uh, the more evidence here. I want to go get it. All right, I think I will. Yeah, as I said before, the evidence is probably the hardest part uh, of this heist. Just getting out with it. So I'm gonna thoroughly prepare myself for it. Actually, with this, all six bags are uh, acquired. Though I will try to go for it all. Here's one. Is this the one? This one is Hawks and Breakout. Yeah, you can see the streets. Here's the FBI headquarters and such. Oh shit. 
So yeah, it's a lot of the little details that they've been adding in these recent heists that I really do enjoy. You know, in like Car Shop, there's a uh, customer conversations, and it's while it's absolutely horrendous, like the conversation itself, it's a very nice touch. You know, it's nice to just sit there and listen to them. A lot more stuff like this is very enjoyable. Oh, no, sir. All right, so I need to really make better time and try to find that panic room as well. These freaking murky guards. Come on. As far as I know, these guys never turn around like they do in the like the guards in the house. They can do like 180s, and they just walk backwards. But for these guys, uh, I think they're relatively straightforward. Like they actually patrol in a patrol-like sequence where they just walk in a, a circle. Any key cards here? Oh Lord D. Let's try to go up. No guards, no guards. Yeah, these paintings are great. Love them, love them. Let's avoid that guy for now. But if that guy's there, that means uh, the panic room is probably. Yep, right there. Uh, I'm gonna open these. Because. Actually, no, I don't need to open these, because this one has that, so I don't need to run outside the building if a guard sandwiches me. Sandwiches me in here. I will open this, though. Alright, looking for more key cards. Need more key cards. Ah, he was checking out the evidence. Alright, so let's move him first. And hopefully he doesn't get spotted by anything. Moose on. Come on, fast, fast. There's a guard coming. No, where are you going? Oh, for the love of God, get over here. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, the question marks. Oh, my God. Ooh. Jesus, that's some scary shit. Okay, get back down. Get down. I'm gonna tie you. I'm gonna move you behind the bed. Hopefully nobody sees him. I don't know if they can see him back here. We'll just have to hope. All right, I'm also going to open this, so if a guard does come in here, I can make my way out onto the roof. Shit. Oh shit, there's two of them. Be chill. Hmm. Okay, I didn't see a key card in here. Nope, nope, nope. Evidence. Let's go ahead and bag some. Uh, let's actually just put it in here for now. Second floor evidence is actually a little bit harder to deal with. Getting it out, I mean. Mm. Well, while he's there, let's actually take a look at this board, huh? This board is the one I wanted to actually show you. So, this one is of CrimeNet and CrimeNet's associates. Oh shit, he's coming this way. Is he? No, he's going down. But there is a guy coming up. Okay, that's cool. There's two guys coming up. Uh, I think I'll show you the board later because this is bad. Okay, let's... That was pretty close. Let's hide for a bit. I don't like all these guards up here. Not to mention that guy's still standing there. I think I'll just go outside and go down from here. Because I need to find that second key card. Okay, so here's the computer, if I need to hit that. Nice little painting. I think I actually have seen that painting before. Okay, let's see. Remedy oh, there we go. Ooh, hi. Okay. Alright, nice. 
Let's make our way up. So w I really like the design of this heist. Like, it's really well done for stealth. Uh, the amount of places you can be, uh, like you see, you can see uh, there are a lot of places you can hide as well. You know, just like these little cubby holes, or closet areas rather. Uh, mobility is a very big thing on this map, like there are multiple ways of getting around the map, so, you know, if I need to hide I can go outside, or I can hide behind couches, different props on the map. Uh, they designed this very well for stealth. And uh, I, I just think it's very, very well done. It is enjoyable to stealth. It is actually very nice. So, even though it doesn't give a lot of EXP or money, I do see myself doing this quite often just because I like doing it. Alright, well, while that's happening, I think... Let's actually take a look at this now. So here's the dentist, appeared in 2014, appears to have no criminal history. Dig deeper. Uh, informant insists he masterminded... Oh, hello. Well, okay, well, I guess I'll just, uh... Shiza. I'll just go around for now. I just want to read it. <laughs> Jeez. Masterminded the breakout of Hoxton, among other things. The Butcher, a uh, suspected link to the bomb missing drop bomb transport. Gage, veteran arms dealer who runs a gun smuggling operation. Bob McKendrick, and that's... wait, no, that's... Senator Simmons, and that's slimy ball bag McKendrick. And then Vlad. Vlad, the baker. <laughs> oh, come on, guard, go away. I just want to show this. Oh, man, he's actually coming this way. Yeah, that's right, go away. So, Vlad the Baker. Incarcerated wrongfully, but has clean record. Oh, my God. Please, go away. Upstanding member of the community. Unsure why he is on this board. A model citizen, perhaps framed by Bane. Is he being used as a front? Without his knowledge. Only time will tell. Upstanding citizen Vlad. <laughs> I absolutely love that. That was glorious. Anyway, let's go ahead and put an end to this traitor. Bam! Alright, let's bag him. I don't even know if, uh this does anything now, like, guards probably see that open vault door and go, Ugh. So yeah, I, this heist is great. I mean, the stealth aspect of it, just the design of the map itself, I think I'm gonna be risque and do that. Because this is actually all the loot. I, I already gathered it all. So I was pretty adamant about doing that. Nice. But yeah, there's just so many things in this heist that they did right, you know? The little touches they added, very enjoyable. Little backstory, get to immerse yourself. Uh, let's see if I can run these one at a time. Um, yeah, definitely the design of the house, it... It gives you a lot of space where, a lot of places where you can stay in one spot, really take your time, you know, if you're in a pickle, you can just wait it out. But there are also a lot of, you know, it really rewards high mobility, so if you know where you're going, and you know how to use this map to your advantage, like using the roof, coming out the windows, uh, using couches, other stuff like that, uh, it's really rewarding for people that know how to utilize their environment. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can make that. Although, now I kind of have to wait. I don't really want to run back in. There we go. And then the little things, just, it's great. Like, what they did in Car Shop, uh, I really like what they did there, where civilians have conversations and such. 
In this one, Hector's banter is great when he's loud. You know, he's like, oh, come and get me! Come and get me! You're in for a surprise! You stupid clowns! And then while the time lock is counting down, you'll hear him say, "It's like, this stupid time lock, you feds are paranoid, and stuff like that. So, there are a lot of great things about this this map. But I will say that I'm, it's not all upsides. There is a... I am a little bit disappointed that this heist is fairly small scale. Like, the house itself seems pretty big and it's great for stealth. But it's it's also pretty short, you know? It, if I had a whole crew of people and I wasn't diddling about and I was actually, you know, uh, going straight for the objective and going as fast as I can, I could finish this really quickly. And double it goes doubly for loud, too. Uh, there's really not much to it. You get a thermal drill, you drill the panic room, and you kill them. So, oh, no, no, no! Oh, I missed one loop back because I accidentally ran through the frickin' escape. Fuck me. <laughs> Jesus. Ugh, I'm a ding-dong. I should've- I should've known. Well, I missed out on one loop back. I mean, <laughs> Or two. Jesus. Blah. But anyway, it was clear that this heist was designed for stealth. And I really like the practices they put in. Like, uh... The way the time lock door is uh, jammed, like it doesn't actually count down anymore when you have an ECM. So instead of artificially making the heist longer, they made it still just as fun, but they avoided somehow uh, ECM cheesing. So you can't just drop a whole bunch of ECMs and kill them and get out. You know, you have to actually do this right. But the bomb dockyard, that one's pretty bad because. Uh, there's this really slow moving boat and you kind of have to wait like two extra minutes it's just, that one's just not great but what they did with this heist is really nice you know approaching the house you have to approach it in a somewhat of a casing casing mode style where you have to find this alarm so you can't just bum rush right in um, and then you know like I said with a time lock door you can't use your ECMs or else it'll stop the time lock from counting down and the RNG aspects if I mentioned it, uh, they're not too bad, you know, like getting one over the other does not make your heist that much more difficult, whereas sometimes it is, you know, depending on like RNG of different heists, Big Bank, if you were doing it solo, depending on where that computer is, your life could be really easy or your life could be pretty hard. And even loud heists, uh, you know, where an escape happens to be can really affect how easily it can be done. But this heist, uh, all the stealth aspects, I think they did it right. I do believe it is very short though, and it's very small scale, you know, one day, it can be finished fairly fast. So in terms of that, a uh, little bit disappointing, but I have a feeling that this is more of a, a taste of things to come, you know, especially with the Golden Grin preview that they had, and they're talking big things about the stealth and the loud of it, and they're really making it to be the next big bank, so. Hopefully, we'll see some interesting interesting things come out of that one. And, uh, there it is! Hoxton Revenge! My headset's a little broken, so it might be a while before I decide to do any more things. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.